Michael with Michelin Metals back again today. And guess what we're talking about? Today, we're going to be talking about more aircraft alloy steels. So, before we jump in, how about whoop, clicking that little subscribe button? You know, come on, it'll help me out. Or maybe just one of these. All right. Like that video. Appreciate it. Helps the channel out. So, if you've been watching, we know now what differentiates an aircraft quality alloy from a commercial quality alloy. AQ, CQ. Now, what that is, is the internal cleanliness of the metal and the steps taken during manufacture to assure its quality through testing. Okay? So, today's video is going to be about some of the most popular alloys and common AMS specifications and mill standards that apply to them. In chemistry, we are focusing on the carbon content and the primary alloying elements. All have a maximum phosphorus and sulfur of 0.025% each. AMS 2301 Magnetic Particle Cleanliness Specification also applies to all of the alloys. Alloy steels develop their best properties through heat treatment. Most of the mill treatments in specs are not the final required conditions for the parts and additional heat treatment is required during the manufacture of parts. First up are the direct hardening steels. Heat treatment by heating to high temperatures, quenching, and then tempering to the desired hardness. Carbon content affects the hardness that can be achieved. Higher carbon, higher hardness. 4130 with a carbon content of 0.28 to 0.33%, chromium at 0.8 to 1.1%, and molybdenum to molybdenum at 0.15 to 0.25% are the primary alloying elements. Typically used in parts at lower hardness or when welding is required. Common specifications for bars and forgings are AMS 6348. AMS 6370 and AMS 6371 plus MIL-S6758. Now, remember, AMS 6371 and the last one of MIL-T6376 are for mechanical tubing. So, next up, 4140, which has a carbon content of 0.38 to 0.43% and the same chromium and molybdenum. The higher carbon content will achieve higher hardness as compared to 4130. Common specs on this one are AMS 6349, AMS 6382, and MIL-S5628 for bars and forgings. AMS 6381 for mechanical tubing. Alloy 4340 has the same carbon content but has 0.70 to 0.90% chromium, 1.65 to 2% nickel, and 0.20 to 0.30% molybdenum. The higher alloy content gives a greater depth of hardening and additional toughness as compared to 4140. Common specs for bars, forgings, and tubing are AMS 6415, AMS 6484, and MIL-S5000. Alloy 52100 has a carbon content of 0.95 to 1.1%, and 1.3 to 1.6% chromium. Most commonly used for bearing applications, it is capable of high hardness in heat treatment, and common specs for this guy are AMS 6440 for bars and forgings, and tubing, MIL S7420 for bars and forgings. Now, carburizing is a heat treatment process where part a part is exposed to a carbon-rich environment at high temperature. Over many hours, carbon is absorbed into the surface to create a much harder and wear-resistant surface layer over a softer and tougher core. 8620 is an alloy most often used for applications involving a carburizing heat treatment. It has a carbon content of 0.18 to 0.23%, 0.40 to 0.60% chromium, 0.40 to 0.70% nickel, and 0.15 to 0.25% molybdenum. 
Common specification is AMS 6274 for bars, forgings, and mechanical tubing. 9310 is also a carburizing grade and has a carbon content at 0.07 to 0.13 percent. 1 to 1.40 percent chromium, 3.0 to 3.50 percent nickel, and 0.08 to 0.15 percent molybdenum. The high nickel content adds toughness, but both the carburized case and the core as compared to 8620. Specifications, AMS 6260 applies to bars, forgings, and tubing. Mill S7393 to bars. Nitriding is another technique for creating a hard and wear-resistant surface. Long exposure to a nitrogen-rich environment forms a thin layer of metallic nitrides on the surface. The surface layer is harder, but much thinner than carburized surfaces. True to its name, nitriding number three, AKA 135, 135 modified, is used for applications where parts are nitrided to achieve a hard wear resistant surface. It has a carbon content of 0.38 to 0.43% carbon, 1.4 to 1.8% chromium, 0.3, 2.4% molybdenum, and 0.95 to 1.3% aluminum. The aluminum facilitates the formation of bonding of nitrogen at the surface. Specifications for bars, forgings, and tubing is AMS 6470. AMS 6472, MIL S6709 all apply to bars and forgings as well. All righty, what's the last thing we're doing here? So there are many many individual aircraft company specifications, too many to address here. And each of the individual specifications have further requirements of the product form and thermal condition as well as additional restrictions or modifications to the chemistry. And the devil is in the details. And there's lots and lots of details in aircraft specs. And so as we say every single time check the specs twice and so this is me this is michael with michelin metals thanks for tuning in i appreciate it and i hope you guys come back and so next week we're going to dig back in in some of the uh premium some of the premium aircraft alloy grades and if you haven't do me a favor subscribe. If you've made it this far, I know you like metal, all right? It helped the channel. Click that little button. If you've missed anything from before, whoop, there it is right there, all right? Previous videos. So again, this is Michael with Michelin Metals. Thanks for tuning in. I appreciate you guys watching. See you next Thursday.